WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we have a sea of red. The liquidation event continues. The Dow's off 278, S&P 51, NASDAQ 316, Russell's off 34, semis down 57. Trendy's off 176. You've got gold up 11 bucks, 1852, 40 is the print. Silver 13 cents at 2155. Lights recruit up 586. 10565 is the print there. Natural gas up 24 pennies. She's printing out at 762. And the 30 year treasury up one point, printing out at 139.20. So, Let's do this here. Give me a moment to get to, I think it's this spot here. No, that's not what I wanted. Let's try this. So the most significant level of resistance, this is a 120 minute time frame chart for the NQ, had been the top of its profile, which was up at the range of 12,513. You see it was a bullish structured profile. And every time price got up there, that's where the sell off. So even though there's a new profile, that's formed out here, and it's at top is a 12,553. Look, we're below the bottom of both of these, but if there's a stage rally at the end of the day, this is why I wanted to share this with you. You want to watch this 12,553 level. If price is over, is able to overtake that, that's going to send some type of message to us, or at least to me, and that would be that we will have seen a key level of resistance fail. Uh, for the first time in quite some time inside the NQ. So we'll just simply start there. And now let's go over and take a look at our cash indice charts out here. Of course, what I'm about to show you in the cash indice charts show no bottom signals. The Dow, bar number four of a TD9 count, you're now clearly below the February 24th low out there. That's a bad situation. Suggests that we're going to continue to head lower. We're below all of those February lows now. I believe we're below all of the February and March lows out here. And all that is really suggesting much lower price. And maybe lower price for a year or so. The S&P bar number four right now. If there's A to B equals CD patterns. If a bullish reversal candle were to form, we'd have at least a short term buy the D point that could take us up at least to the oscillator and change on. That would be about the 4099 level. NDX 100, no bottom signal there in the daily time frame. The same with the Russell semiconductors that broke through its uh, three drive to a bottom pattern about three days ago out there. It just doesn't look good no matter how we look at it. But folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Maybe he can find some good news here. I'll be back with you tomorrow at one o'clock sharp. Have a wonderful Wednesday.